Hello, let us give you a practical introduction to DPMJ. The first place to visit is DPMJ's webpage. There you will find all the information regarding this project. The webpage is divided into six different tabs. On the homepage, you will find a brief summary of the project, the latest news and information on social media. The About tab provides interesting links to the source code of DPMJ and GitHub, examples to export models from Python to DPMJ, and specifications for the compatibility of DPMJ with TensorFlow. Here you can also find the conditions of use and the reference to DPMJ's publication. If you try our software and you find it useful for your research, please cite this publication to support our work. To get a quick installation guidelines, you need to go to the Download tab. As you will see in a minute, DPMJ can be installed through the Common Features Update Site Manager. We also provide a model repository to disseminate trained deep learning models. All our models bring additional documentation that you should always read as it specifies the limitations and the correct way of using them. Moreover, you will also find the information or in some cases Google Colab Notebooks to fine-tune these models if needed. DeepImage's model repository is synchronized with the BioImage IO initiative, which means that any of the models provided by DeepImage can be found in both places and are exactly the same. If you have some constructive comments or ideas for improvement, do not hesitate to contact us. In the Contribution tab, you can find different ways to contribute to our project or different ideas in general for the democratization of deep learning. Finally, if you would like to become an expert user of DeepMJ, you can follow some tutorials and check user guidelines documentation. Now, let's start playing with DeepMJ. To get DeepMJ installed, we just need to run Fiji and update it. For that, we can go to Help and click on Update. The system will automatically be updated and a new window called Manage Update Site will open. There, we can go to Manage Update Sites and add the DeepMJ Update Site by clicking on Add Update Site. We can write the name DeepMJ and the URL for the update sites of DeepMJ is given in the web page. Just copy paste it there. Then you can click on Close and click on Apply Changes to get all the updates. Once the installation process has finished, just close Fiji and open it again. Before using any training deep learning model on DPMJ, we need to make a small change in the Fiji's folder. We need to create a folder called Models. Once we have done it, we can go to DPMJ's web page and to the model repository. Once we are there, we can download one of the models. You will notice that a zip file has been downloaded. The content of this zip file needs to be extracted and placed in the models folder that we just created. If we open the folder of the model that we just have downloaded, we will see an example image. We can open this image in Fiji and process it with DPMJ. Go to Plugins, DPMJ and DPMJ Run. In the user interface, you can check first all the models available for DPMJ in this Fiji installation. In our case, we just have one as we just place one model in the Models folder. We can select the model that we have and then choose the pre-processing and the post-processing routines given by the model developer. Then you will see that a patch size is suggested. You can leave it as it is. Just click on OK and process your image. In just few seconds you will see the output of the trained model for this specific input image. As a developer, we might be interested in converting our TensorFlow trained models into a DeepMJ compatible format. In other words, we need to create a bundled model. This might be difficult to do it directly from the Python code, so DPMJ provides a user interface to do it. 
The first thing we need is our TensorFlow trained model stored as a saved bundled model. This means that we need a folder that contains a protobuffer file called saved model and a variables folder which contains the weight of the trained models. The second thing we need is an example image so we can use it to convert the bundled model. In image A, we can open the example image. Then we can start DPMJ bundled model by going to plugins, DPMJ, DPMJ build bundle model. There, a new user interface will pop up. To create our bundled model, we just need to follow all the steps in this user interface. First of all, we need to drag and drop our trained model into the path. Click on Next and we will see how the model is loaded. In this step, we need to specify the axes belonging to each of the dimensions of the input and the output shapes. Our images sometimes need to be processed using some tile strategy. This means that we are going to split the input image into batches so the network can process each of them and then combine them to provide their output result. For that, we need to specify some parameters, especially when we are working with autoencoder decoders. The multiple factor is the first parameter that determines the shape of the input. In this case, it is 8. The padding is determined by the halo or the receptive field of one pixel in our network. In this case, it's 95. These two parameters are going to delimit what is the size of the patch that is going to enter into the network. In DPMJ bundle models, it is also possible to give credit to the author of the models and to any references that are involved in the development of this trained model. Therefore, in this case, we can fill some information such as the name of the model, the authors, the credits, the URL to the GitHub repo, the version, the date, or some references regarding the data used to train the model or the architecture of the model. The next two steps are critical for the good performance of the model on a given image. Those steps are the pre-processing of the input image and the post-processing of the output image. DeepMJ works with imaging macros to read the pre-processing and the post-processing routines given by the developer. In this case, for example, we can have our pre-processing and post-processing macros already written, so we can just copy-paste them in these two windows. Before finishing, we need to check that the model works properly on DPMJ and that it processes the image exactly as we want. For that, we can run a quick test on the example image, just clicking on Run a Test. If we are satisfied with the result, we can specify a new folder in which we are going to store the whole bundle model. We recommend to store this new bundle model in the Models folder inside Fiji, so then we can use it again with DPMJ Run. We can check that the model has been successfully stored in the models folder. Actually, we can open the image again and process it with DPMJ Run to check that everything works finely.